Well, it all started off well here this morning. There's only uh, only 2,300 cattle this week. Last week there was uh, close to 3,000. Um, bullocks are, uh, the quality's starting to drop off, but the good bullocks are selling very well. This pen here, the Higgs family, they'll be well over 800 kilos. They made $1.94, uh, big heavy bullocks. Onto the next pen here, these are the uh, Chris and Rose Allens from out at Compton. Uh, these bullocks made 219 and you know well into the 700s, so uh, I'd suggest without the weights up yet, but they're very, very good, been running on improved pastures and a heap of hay, so great quality. These are the uh, Joan, Ron Jones, Ron, Ron and Rhonda Jones' as bullocks from Congrong. They have them week in, week out, have them in outstanding uh, condition, as you can see, you wouldn't find a better pen of Angus bullocks anywhere. These bullocks made 218 and I believe they're going to tickle 800 kilos, so it uh, be a pretty good result. These black steers here are the Brown family. Uh, made 230, 230 kilo, milk and two teeth, bought by TFI Murray Bridge. And uh, yeah, great quality again out of Mumbana. These are a pen of uh, young steers at Count Bonera Pastoral Company. Uh, they sold pretty well, pretty well again this week. They've had them, had them in week after week, um, but they uh, around 215 this week for these cattle. Um, so uh, yeah, just probably getting towards the end of the draft with them now. They've uh, been picked over, and I think you find in the weeks to come, the uh, you know the quality of the cattle here in Mount Gam is going to drop off very quickly. Within a fortnight, I think we'll be back to under 1,500 cattle. And uh, I think you'll find Australia-wide, most centres in Australia are going to have the same problem. So it's going to be very interesting to see where it all ends up over the next few weeks. Start of our build and young cattle run today. We had quite a few, uh, quite a few of these Angus steers, Angus cross steers in, all making sort of 220 to 230 for the feedlots. Uh, very, very strong the feedlots, as you can see on these, these sort of steers. This bit of black steers, the Kirkby family. You can see there's a dash of sand or, or a bit of a euro through them, but uh, they still buy them for the feedlots. These Angus heifers here, they're all making 220 for the uh, once again the feed lotters. So it just points to something that later on the feed lots are going to be certainly chasing cattle. They're chasing cattle to get on feed. They're worried about where numbers are going to come from later on. Yeah, these sort of heifers coming back at $2.20 a kilo, cents a kilo, and, and the weight of them, you know, they come back at pretty serious dollars. Had a very good run of vealers in today. These calves here, the Uber Gang family, you can see the shape and the quality of these calves, a Belgian Angus cross, Belgian blue bulls over the Angus cows. Great shape and quality, those calves made 228 a kilo this morning and uh, you know, great quality those calves. This pet here is uh, Judy Mulqueenie, the Kane family, and uh, at sea, sea View. Uh, yeah, Euro cross calves here, 225 a kilo for these. Um, good quality, good shape. And as I keep saying, as the weeks as the weeks go on, you know, we're going to struggle to find quality. No doubt about that. You know, with the season deteriorating now, season-wise, there's not much feed in the paddock. You know, blokes are going through preg testing their heifers and and anything that's empty is going and uh, whatever sort of condition in people are selling it. These sort of heifers today, you know, they. They're plain enough in condition, but the feed lotters are buying them. So blokes are still getting seven hundred, seven or eight hundred dollars for these heifers, and uh, you know, rather than take them through to the, hold them right through to the break, they're deciding to make some decisions and look after their producing stock and sell off their non-producing cattle. So that's why we got a run of these plain of condition, preg-tested, empty heifers here today. These are some uh, some plainer condition uh, heifers that have come off that have come off some lake, some country that's fairly bare. Um, you know, the clients are saying, let's sell them. Um, let's just make some room. We've got no feed left, so we're selling them. But you know, they still, these cattle here today, crossbred sort of plain condition cattle making in the 60s, 70s a kilo. You know, a bit of frame and a bit of weight. So people are prepared to, uh, to quit them. They cost not much money when they bought them, a couple hundred dollars, and they're probably gonna sell them out today for 600. So. They've decided to sell those cattle. With the uh, with the cow market being as strong as it has been over the last month or so, three weeks I suppose, um, it's encouraged blokes with big heavy cows that may be not producing as well as they should to sell them. You know, they're making over a thousand dollars, those big old cows. And then so of course they're splitting off their calves. Well these little calves here today, 
they made close to $500 these steer calves and there's no weight in them at all so you know you've got an outfit splitting over $1,500 and uh, you know you line them up in the store so you'd struggle to get it so you know these little steer calves are going to the uh, restockers and then their sisters next door are going to the butchers for the light for that light uh, light killing job so there you are those little heifers making you know four fifty or sixty dollars and you know they're not 200 kilos it's amazing really